Well, I mean, it was it was really enjoyable because, you know, needless to say, working with her and my son made it all just a pleasure. You know, and Lincoln Loggins and our producer, and it was just great. It was just, you know, all our needs are taken care of and you're making a little movie, and it's a very soft movie. I'm usually doing something much more violent. And, and yet this was a sheer pleasure to do, and the character came because the environment was so pleasurable, and she's so wonderful to work with, and you just look in these deep brown eyes and you're just taken away. And Jesse and I have done half a dozen movies together. We just have a gas, we just play. You know, but uh, all in all, it was just, you know, it's a great environment. To, I didn't know what to expect. I really didn't. Uh, it's really great being here because, uh, you know, part of the, the great thing is the, the area itself is basically like a backdrop to, uh, as a character to the movie. You know, the, the beauty of this town, the, the humbleness of it, and how, how sweet the people who live here are. And um, that's something that's a very important part of this movie. Oh, another reason why we wanted to, to do this film as well was, you know, the, the, the wholesomeness of it. And, you know, especially shooting at uh, CC Riders, which is a very important part of the movie. Yeah, it's, that's really well said because it's like another character. Um, I, I mean, that, the names of the locations, the names of the hotels and restaurants and places we shot at are the original names. So when people come, you know, they'll be like, oh my goodness. And CC Riders housed us for almost a week of our filming. Um, it was a very important character in the story. And Sylvia, who owns a restaurant, she's owned it for 30 something years, her family. And uh, just, a, it's lovely and so small town, but so real and welcoming. Like. And you definitely think it's fake for the movie, but it's not. Yeah. And the, and you touched on it, but the area too. It's we kept going to these places, going, what? What is this gorgeous location? Walking on the beach and filming on the dock side, mm -hmm. and just places that you are so specific to this, you know, to Clearwater and the area, and so beautiful. And Dunedin is just the sweetest. Cutest town. Yeah. It's so cute. It's the best. It's really a well kept secret that Eden. Well, the secret's know, out now, Marty. The secret's right. out now, yeah. yeah. But it's really, you know, you can't, they won't let the misfits in here. It's too, <laughs> it's too pure and wonderful, and the people are just, they're aces. They do everything they can do to make you comfortable. Yeah. And it, it just, you know, it's, it's a great place to make a movie. It's like, it's better than a blue water. You know, the blue water movies where you stay at a hotel and you, you do the acting and then you just go back to the hotel and you're on an island, you know. Um, that's okay, but this is as good because you're right there, you know, by clear water and you, you're, you, you're at the beach and you know, you're not isolated. You can get to any place, but everything is so real, you know, soft. And, congenial and, you know, beats the hell out of L.A. or New York. So making a movie in the St. Pete Clearwater area is, you know, we've touched on it, has, has been such a gift, both aesthetically and emotionally. It's just beautiful. Everywhere you turn, there's a sweet restaurant or a sweet shop or a sweet human or a sweet sunset. And it's been, it's, it's hard not to feel happy in that. And, um, you know, and, the, and it's and there's just the right amount of rain, just a little sprinkling every day, keeps everything green, cools you off. It's just really a dream. I mean, within a week, I was like, I could retire here. I think we all want to move could, here. Right? I, I could do it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been a joy. It's been really a joy. And we got to see some glorious sunsets, both because of work and personally, and, and I'm so grateful. I just wanted to say that, you know, we talked all about Dunedin and the vibes and the people and the stores and where we shot. But there was a place called the Fenway Hotel that where we all stayed, Jesse and I. And there's no question about it. I, when you make a movie near the water, it is much easier from a metaphysical standpoint to have a good time, to relax, to study, to do all that. I've been in Greece, all over the place. and. Wherever you are near water, it is so much easier to create a world and do the homework you need to do to make a good movie. And this place, the Fenway, is right off the bay, the bay there, and all kinds of chairs overlooking the water where you can just sit and study. And these people treated us like kings. And they were great. They were as exciting to be with because they were so interested in what we were doing. And there's a rooftop bar, 
and then there's just sitting outside. And we would just go outside in the heat because it didn't matter because the vibes were so right. So we would sit, it was pretty hot, and it didn't matter. We'd just kibitz and kid around and, and have fun together and talk about the previous day's work. But the Fenway, the vibes at where we stayed, was so important. It was as important as any of these other aspects we've already talked about, you know. So I just want to say thank you to those people. Yes, thank you to everyone at the Fenway. It made it very comfortable for us to work and, and do well here.